For more tips and tricks, don't forget to hit that button and subscribe. Also, ring the bell so you can get notifications anytime I have new videos. Welcome to Paul's Toolbox. I'm Paul Ricaldi, and on a previous video, I showed how to make this fence right here to, to extend the height. I said I would cover the cap boards, and that's what we're going to do right now. Let's get started. We're going to start off with a piece of 2x10. We'll get my trusty tape measure out. Set it at 7.5 inches right here. Lock it in place. And I'll just run a line across. Now, we will run one this way. I love this DeWalt table saw. This thing is a workhorse. Very accurate. It's going to give me the exact seven and a half inches on the outside of this line where I want to be. So it will leave my line or cut the very edge of it. Safety glasses. See how accurate my line was? We're right on it. That's using my proscribed tape measure. This indicating bar will tell you exactly where your mark is if you put your pencil on the end. And you can also make circles with it, so check this out. I drop this down on here, and I have a pivot that I can spin all the way around and make circles and arcs with it. I do not want to bind this, so I am only going to push this side. This side is going to drag along with it. Because if I turn it and bind it, this is going to kick back at me. I have to be very careful. It's better to cut this on a chop saw. My blade set at 25 degrees. When we push it in, it's going to cut from the short side out, so we'll be fine all the way around. There you have it. The next thing we want to do is make a little top here to hold my floor to lee because that is going to go right on the top of my block. We set our block right here and we'll be able to mount this to it. This has a little loop in there so you can hook a cable and pull it down onto your post, but I'm not going to need that. So I'm just going to break this off. I measured off the inside. It's tapered, so you'll see what we're going to do. Just take a second. Put my glasses on. I'm going to take and knock the edge off right here. So we just need a tiny bit off the edge. I'll put a 15 degree angle. Doesn't have to be pretty guys. All we're doing is taking it off the top. Now we can take and screw this to the center of our post. And we'll have something to attach it to on all four sides. It's always better to screw into the side across your grain. Do not screw into the grain. So when I put this on, I want to make sure that it's facing sideways. When I run my screw in, it's going to go into the cross grain right here. That gives it strength. It won't split. If you open this up, the grain's made this way, you're just going to split it wide open. So keep that in mind when you're making this and putting it in place. I have two holes right here. This one mounts the cap board, and this one will mount my small block. Since this is so tight, I could pre-drill a hole right here and run a screw in, or I can use one of these adapters. This works great. Please hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next project.